Hello YouTube, thank you for coming back to my channel. Um, just want to show you guys something very quickly here that I uh, put together. Uh, hopefully it will help someone save some money. A quick DIY project. Uh, what I pretty much made here is a um, dog gate for my backyard uh, on my deck here. Um, just an area to keep the dogs enclosed. Uh, that I used also over the summertime and um, it's just pretty much for them to get out of the house here quickly and go and do their business down there um, and really what it is was uh, and it saved a lot of time and saved me lots of money is uh, it's actually a baby crib <laughs> and it's a solid wood baby crib that I got on a buy and sell site um, saved me a lot of money actually got it for free since somebody was actually tossing it out uh, for this project you if you're planning on if you like this or if you're planning on doing something it um, has to be a solid wood uh, baby crib so that it can withstand uh, the weather uh, rain snow um, there are some baby cribs that are made out of like a uh, MDF type material or compressed saw sawdust um, type material that probably wouldn't uh, hold up to um, rain and snow it might just you know fall apart so this was a solid wood baby crib that um, I found on again one of those buy and sell websites and all I did really was um, I took the three sides out of the four of the crib so there's the long front of the baby crib and then this is the side and this is the small side the other side I just I didn't need it for now so um, I put it away and um, so what you can see here is all I did for this baby crib and the good thing is, is that the baby crib already has all the spindles attached so the dogs I don't have to I didn't have to buy spindles or go through the whole process of um, drilling them or gluing them to the bottoms and the tops i mean something like this you can make you can see how easy it is you know a couple two by fours uh one by ones um and some spindles and you could probably make this you know for with with hardware and everything maybe for like you know 50 bucks or or cheaper but um this was free so obviously winning um, and I just had to buy some hardware here, so some some um, joints here, uh, and just a like a gate uh, latch. So the hinges, um, I think, were like five dollars for the pack, and the gate latch was uh, maybe like eight dollars. So the gate latch is just pretty much. A simple system here pull this lock back and we can open the gate here quickly dogs can get out to the backyard um, and then just pretty much close and lock so I just attached uh, one part here to the baby crib and the other one to the brick and that's it it's just a simple lock system the dogs can't get out um, and if we want to get out quickly we just Lift that, pull open, and that's it. And it locks back. And then the hinges here were just, um, you know, just hinges, basic hinges from Home Depot, just to allow the gate to open and close there. So I did mine in a form, form uh, like a formation of uh, where it wasn't straight across. This, uh, you know, just like the three sides here. So. It works for um, our space here, where the dogs can then just go down there. Um, I was looking on like Amazon and websites for us for a gate that would connect from my brick here to my post of my my deck, and I couldn't find anything that was a good length there. Uh, most of the gates were also small and flimsy. So I knew that my dogs, my golden retriever there, would just um, jump over it or knock it down. Because this one is solid wood and it's so sturdy, the dogs can't do anything to it. So I just zip-tied it quickly to that post there. You can see 
one side is zip tied, the other side is connected to the gate latch. And uh, that's pretty much it. So this is a, a very simple DIY. It didn't take you know much to do except to take apart the baby crib. A couple um, you know a couple areas here where I had to uh, take apart some some of the hardware from the uh, crib. Once I took that all apart, all the four pieces, all the four sides of the crib, I think I cut off the legs or I unscrewed the legs that were attached to the bottom of the um, crib. And yeah, just removed all the hardware and had all the four sides available and just attached the four hinges. And that was it. Then I had the formation of the gate and then attached it to there, attached it to there. And it just free stands on its own. It doesn't fall over because of how it's attached to the uh, post of the deck there. And uh, again, that was it. Didn't have to do anything with the spindles since the crib already has spindles. So it was very simple. No, not a lot of work. And anybody could probably do that if you can find something online that's cheap. Somebody throwing a solid wood baby crib away. Here's a good alternative for you um, to do if you're looking for something for keeping the dogs inside, especially in the winter time, to let them go out quickly. If you want to let them go out quickly, come back right in. Uh, there's an option for you and hopefully it helps. Okay, thanks for uh, watching my video. Hope you like the video and uh, please subscribe and like.